Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today is Tuesday, which means new pin release day. We have a reservation for Disneyland. Sorry, I know I'm giving you guys a lot of information right now, but also, uh, sorry, I'm just really excited. I have a big surprise for you guys, and I'll show you guys once we get inside the park. Well, once we finish the Emporium, I'll show you guys the surprises, but anyways, uh, today is really busy. It was, there was actually a line to get onto the escalator today <laughs> to go through security and all that stuff. It's crazy. But uh, today's the first day of Star Wars night, so most likely that's the reason why everybody's you know trying to be here today. I'm hoping that they drop new uh, Star Wars merchandise today and just anything else new around the park. But anyways, I think we're gonna head inside now and see what we can find. It doesn't look that busy to enter the park right now though, which is good. But there are two signs right in front of the park. This one says, tickets for tonight's event are sold out, which is Star Wars night. And then there's another sign, so let me go show you guys that one. Here's a second sign to have out. It says Disneyland Park will close at 8 p.m. for a special event, which is Star Wars night. But anyways, we just got inside the park. Look, train station's behind me. You can hear the sights and sounds of Disneyland. <laughs> but I think we're gonna head to the Emporium to see if there's anything new today. We just got inside the Emporium, and if you go way to the back, over here like in the mug and tumbler and water bottle section, they have new tumblers. They have this Fantasia one. This one I for sure have never seen before. This one's $24.99, and it's got a pretty cool straw topper which keeps spinning around. There you go. Look at that. And they have this Peter Pan one. The straw topper is uh, Tinkerbell in this one. This one's also $24.99. And then next to those two tumblers that I showed you guys, they have, looks like two new water bottles. I've never seen this one. Mickey Mouse. This one's $29.99. So a straw built in to the top. And then they have this one. Since 2999. All right, guys. So that's basically for uh, the Emporium. Not a whole lot new. They did have the new pins, but I didn't want to show you guys yet because I want to show you guys the 20th Century Music Company. So usually I would show you guys the, the pins at 20th Century Music Company, but today I'm going to show you guys the new pins at Disney Showcase. All right, guys. So here's a look at the new pins. But wait, before I show you guys the new pins, more importantly, look who's back. Ah! It's Millie. Yay! Hi. See, come She's back. Come finally back. Come back. Come, come visit me. It's been like what? Two weeks? Maybe three? It's been like two months. Two months? It's been like two months. Really? Yes. Where have I been? I've been I like. Know, where have you been? <laughs> That's, See, it's his fault. It's my fault? It's Paul's fault. Dang. Well, <laughs> at least you're back now. When did you come back? Sunday. Sunday, I okay. I came back on Sunday. Well, now you guys know Millie's back. If you guys want to come and take a picture with her or pin trade with her. Pin trade with me. Now you guys can. So you're not at uh, 20th Century today because they're working on the outside? Right. Okay, for sure. But I'm going back to 20th Century at 1130. Okay. Well, now you guys know where to find her. Yeah. Bye. But anyways, here's a look at the new pins. Looks like there's five of them. We have a Disney 100 Donald Duck pin. And you'll pass. Oh, this is for pass holder only? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yeah, I see it. Magic key. Oh, it did say that in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says magic key. Oh, I couldn't even see that. <laughs> That's cool. This one's $19.99. It's okay, Gina. <laughs> uh, they have this one. It says, Love Your Pet. It's got a bunch of Disney pets on there. I do love my pet. This one's $17.99. They have a new Mother's Day pin with Mrs. Incredible and Jack Jack. This one's $17.99. And they have his Max and Goofy pin, which is, I think this is really nice. So it's $19.99, and then lastly they have a DuckTales mystery pack. I almost said ooh at the end. <laughs> we did. Right. Like, okay. how can you say DuckTales without finishing ooh. it off? <laughs> ooh. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you guys. Oh, I dropped it. How are you? Good. You doing okay? Yes. So far. I've never seen that this one. one. Which one? Nineteen ninety nine for the mystery pack. Uh, oh. Alright guys, but basically all the new pins. We're gonna be saying bye to Millie for today. I'm so glad she's back. Man, I'm so glad I got to see Millie today. Uh, I swear, I was even telling her, I was like, Main Street did not feel the same without you being here. And also, it's crazy how fast time flies. She was gone for two months and I thought it was like a couple weeks. <laughs> but every time I leave the Emporium, I always look over at 20th Century Music Company. It sucks like not see her there, but she's back though. At least now you guys, well, if you guys want to pin trade with her or visit her or just ask her questions, you guys can find our 20th Century Music Company. All right, guys, we just got inside of the China Closet, and it looks like they have those two new tumblers I showed you guys at the Emporium. The Fantasia one, the Peter Pan one. And then they have this one here, but I feel like this one's been here for a while. I'm not sure. I can't remember this one. This one's $24.99 just in case you've never seen it before like me. They have that here, and they have another version down there. But besides that, they also have a new Peter Pan mug. Which I've never seen before. Mm. 
This one's 1999. So after we finished with the China Closet, we ended up going to Candy Palace across the street, which we found nothing. We went to Plaza Point as well, found nothing. So that's basically it for Main Street today, guys. I think now we're gonna head to Tomorrowland and see what we can find over there. All right, so we ended up doing a quick walkthrough of the Star Trader, and sadly, I couldn't find anything new in here. Basically, the newest thing here in Tomorrowland is that there's a new Grogu sipper. So let me go show you guys that. Over at the little like uh, like concession stand across from the Star Trader, they have the new Grogu sipper. Includes choice of Coca-Cola bottled beverage at time of purchase. This one's $29.79, which is a random price. Should have just been $29.99, but whatever. And it's a limit of two per person. All right, guys, so here's a look at the new sipper. This thing's really cool. It's about time they finally made something like this. They should make like a Razor Crest like popcorn bucket. But even like the lanyard is really nice. And I'm guessing, I don't want to touch it because this one's like on display, but I guess this is where the straw is to sip out of it, and then you twist this whole head off to fill it. I'm not gonna lie, that sipper was really, really cool. I just don't know if it was like $30 cool though. But anyways, we're heading into tomorrow landing now to see if there's any new Magic Bands. So here's a look at the wall of Magic Bands, and it looks like they only have one new one, and Hold it's on. really cool. Let me call you back in a minute. Look, it's got the little green alien on it. This one's a limited release, which means it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Or it usually is. They're usually like lilac, which is $54.99, but this one's slate, which is $49.99. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty cool magic band. A little too colorful for me, but it is cool. I like how the, the center has the little green alien on it. Alright, so I'm a little confused. So that, that little like concession cart right across from Star Trader has a Grogu sipper for $29.79. But over here in the churro cart in Tomorrowland, they have the same sipper, so you guys can find it here as well, but over here it's $32 for whatever reason. So I'd recommend if you guys are trying to get that sipper, make sure you guys go to that little concession cart across from the Star Trader because it's a couple bucks cheaper. But that's basically it for Tomorrowland. It is currently 9.52, so we have eight minutes until the band starts. So I think we're just gonna camp out at the castle and wait for them to show up. Here they come. Hey. Morning. Morning.
they're so awesome. <laughs> I swear, if somebody's like, hey, Paul, what's your favorite thing to do at the park? Definitely watch the, the Disneyland band. That's like my favorite thing to do. So usually when I'm filming these videos at Disneyland, I'll go like this side toward like Pirates and check out the stores on this side. But I think I'm gonna skip it and I'm gonna just go straight to Galaxy's Edge because I'm hoping they have new uh, Star Wars merchandise today. So we're across from the uh, entrance of Galaxy's Edge by Big Thunder Mountain. Look, they have a photo op, which is covered up technically. <laughs> but you can clearly see it says Star Wars Night behind it. So everyone will find out what this is once the event happens, but I have no idea what it is. So I'm entering Galaxy's Edge. Look, I noticed a sign. Due to a special event, Star Wars Rise of Resistance will be closing early. All right, so we already finished with our first door. <laughs> we went to Joy Depot and there was nothing new in there. The newest thing in there was probably the BD-1 Droid uh, unit that I showed you guys in my last video from here. But I think now we're gonna head to Doc Ondar's and hopefully they have some new lightsabers today. So we just got into Doc Ondar's and I'm not seeing anything new, including the lightsabers. Looks like they have the same ones they had the last time I was here. Well, sadly, we finished Doc Ondar's and there was nothing new in there, but I did run into a few friends from Making magical adventures. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, bro. See it, see it, see it. <laughs> like, I know your channel, but right, do you guys? Right, right, right. <laughs> I actually ran into them at the Blue Milk Stand, and Henry was actually picking up what is it? The Tenu yeah. Swirl Tenu Crunchy Swirl, Cereal? Crunchy cereal blue milk. It's the new Blue Milk. It's got nerds and raspberry sauce, and he was picking his up, and then by standing next to him, they ended up making magic, and they gave me another one. Mm -hmm. So, if you like nerds, or actually a lot of nerds, try this drink yeah. out. It's, I mean, from it's what fun. you said, yeah. It's fun. It's definitely fun. I think uh, if you're a nerds type of person, this is all you, but it's one of the better blue milks for sure. You know, it's funny. Your guys' name is Making Magical Adventures, and I hung out with you guys, and I had a magical magic adventure. Yeah, like, there you yeah. go. So that's what, that's what happens. You guys hang out with them. Make sure you guys see them, hang them out, or hang out Appreciate with them, that. and make sure to follow them on YouTube and Instagram at Thank you. Making, Making Magical, magical adventures. adventures. There you go. <laughs> so just to get the name right, this is the Tanu Swirl Crunchy Cereal. I probably butchered it the first time I said it, but this has blue milk, raspberry sauce, strawberry, and grape candy pebbles, which is nerds. And mine's not as pretty as it was when I first got it, but look at this. It looks really good. I love nerds. I can't wait to try this. It tastes just like blue milk, but more sour. <laughs> Besides that, it tastes just like blue milk. You barely taste the, the nerds. The raspberry sauce is like non-existent, even though you can see it really well, but it just tastes like really sour blue milk. So I'd say it's good still. I like blue milk. And if you guys are interested in buying one of these, it's $9.29. So I ended up finishing that uh, Tenu Whatever it's called, Tenu Rice Crunchy Cereal, whatever that drink's called. The blue milk with nerds and raspberry sauce. I finished it, it was really good, and then I ended up walking around the rest of Galaxy's Edge, which I couldn't find anything new really, but it was nice to at least see the Grogu sipper today at the park and then that new blue milk. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.